Guys, guess what? I am back again with my buddy Dave. <laughs> and yes, of course, this is MTD CNC North America, and we are at DRG. Love it here. Now we get to talk about the Kiwas. Now, we all know horizontal machining, right? Why do we like it? The chips fall, maybe better tool life, better, maybe better finishes. Let's learn a little bit about Dave, about why he got these Kiwas and the lights out machining that he's been able to do thanks to the Kiwa machine. Dave, thanks for being a part of MTD again. Anytime. So the nice thing with the horizontals is you get more parts up, right? You get more parts up, you get a longer cycle time. You get more walk away time. Well, in the gun world, making lower receivers out of billet, not forgings, we're looking for walk away time. So again, that mindset, that thought process, that concept that we want to run 70 hours a week unattended and still make good product. Right. So how do we do that? Well, you buy a FASM system, you buy a pallet pool, you buy multiple tombstones, you buy all this crazy stuff for high volume or low volume, high mix. Well, we make the same part every day. So we can't do that. So we get to a point where we can get 16 blocks up between two tombstones and between that kind of stuff, we can get 24 blocks up and we can run 12 or eight lowers at a time wow. on a tombstone where first shift touches it once, second shift touches it once, and third shift it runs unattended. So by doing the horizontal route for that kind of stuff, we can leave it alone. You know, we got five horizontals in this line. They run, one guy runs them because he only has to touch them for about a half an hour or a shift per machine. So he has time to do the QC. He has time to check things. He has time to work with QC. He has time to do tool management. He has time to optimize programs and see where you can get it to cut faster and do better. So anyone who's watched these other DRG videos knows that you're one of the global leaders when it comes to figuring out how to automate cells and get things moving. And you mentioned it here. I'm just gonna regurgitate a little bit for the guys watching. You set it up once, first shift touches it one time. Yep. Second shift touches it one time. There is no third shift, but it gets pulled off when first shift comes back in. And yep. although you have three, four, five, moving on to six and seven fully automated robotic cells, in essence, you're doing the exact same thing here without a robot by being able to just switch it over once a, once a we shift. We don't need the hydraulic fixture. We don't need the robot load. We don't need the expensive route of doing things. We need more parts up right. to run longer. So we custom built the tombstones. We custom built the process. We do a little more machining on first stop than we do on second stop. So it's not balanced because we want the unattended runtime. Whether the machine's machining or at three in the morning it turns off and sits till we come back at 7 a.m., we'd rather have it machining. So it's your give and take and you learn your process and how you want to do it. And you figured out your process. And again, I don't give away secrets, guys. I apologize. You don't get to know all the secrets either. But you're able to pop that part off. It's pretty much a completed part. You figured out how to let it run. Again, we break it off on, you know, tabs, which is usually a five axis technique on that kind of stuff. We get our solid scrap money back instead of machining all those chips away and taking extra time. So we get a chunk out. We do certain things for different reasons. And here at DRG, it really is a team effort. And what I mean by that is you mentioned five horizontals, but you also mentioned to me prior to this video, guys, so I have some secrets ahead of time is you have a bunch of other machines, maybe a total of 12 or 15 machines where you have around, what, five guys running all the machines or something like so that? So in this part of the shop, there's five horizontals, there's five hosses, there's two robo drills, three robo drills and a fifth, uh, five axis. Yeah. The hosses, the robo drills and the five axis, the three or the four or five guys that run this side of the shop, get the horizontals running, then go over and run the machines. And they can all run all these machines so because- So we cross-train profusely, just because they're different controls, just because they're different parts, just because they're different, each machine tool touches differently and checks off stuff differently. We cross-train every guy. So no matter what, he's learning the breadth. A vertical guy isn't a vertical guy. A horizontal guy isn't a horizontal guy. The vertical guy is running the horizontal, he's running the robo drill, he's running the five axis. They know it all to a certain level 
until they have to ask for help. Right. Hey, the five axis is doing something really weird. Okay, let's go get the five axis guy. But the basic operations, tool check, tool breakage detection, taking parts in and out of the machine, doing all that basic stuff, we want to teach everybody in the shop to know everything. Well, cross training is immensely important. And when I was a younger, good looking man, I used to think, well, if I'm the only one that knows this, my job is safe. But ultimately, these guys' jobs are all safe. You want They're, them to be here. They're great people. And being able to do this, we're already at, you know, having a skills gap anyway. So let's not have that thinking, guys, around the world. Listen, cross training is wonderful. Learning multi machine is wonderful. Don't keep these secrets to yourself. Learn, 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 right? You also want to have a life and be able to take a vacation. So you can't be the guy that holds the keys to the castle on the entire thing and then be like, hey, I'm going to go take two weeks of vacation. Cross training is awesome. The guy's learning the different stuff. It keeps you motivated every day. It keeps you entertained every day. It keeps you wanting to come back because it's not the same mundane task of taking a part in and out of a machine every 30 seconds. Awesome. Well, DRG, again, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Incredible company. Thank you for educating me on why you got your Kiwas, why you're cross-training everyone, the importance of your employees that come along with you. If someone wants to learn more about your company, where would they find you? So they'd find us at drgmanufacturing.com. If they want to buy our parts and see our stuff that we produce for sale and retail, we're at whitelabelarmory.com. So we started White Label Armory as our distributor. We're a wholly owned subsidiary of DRG Manufacturing so that we can compete globally. Why give the 15 to 20 percent away to another distributor when we can control it in house? So we've built our machining side, we've built our distribution side, so we can vertically integrate our entire channel. Well, now that I know where to find you on a website, where can I find you to grab a beer with you? Because I am ready to learn some more. It's it's usually a Belo Steakhouse <laughs> around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is amazing. D R G. This is my buddy Dave. If you need to check them out, you want to check them out, that's the website, Dave. Thank you so much for being a part of MTD, yeah. sharing everything that you shared with us on our global channel. We really appreciate it. Thank you.